Noob Noob, are you ready for the wheel of time? Yeah, Minotaurs. Okay, Noob Noob. We're going to do a spoiler-filled breakdown of Wheel of Time Season 1. Now, I know that Amazon Prime released Episodes 1 through 3, but I'm going to try to convince Noob Noob to watch Wheel of Time based on my description of Episode 1, the pilot. You've only watched Episode 1. No, I've watched a little bit more than Episode 1. But there's three episodes available. Yes, they dropped them actually on Thursday night, so we were I was ahead of the game with my super secret um my super secret expert on wheel of time texting me while we were watching it giving me tidbits of information feeding me all uh -huh. of that goody goodness i'm highly doubtful that this is anywhere near the league of batwomen so oh my gosh. it's gonna take some convincing that i'm gonna need so what if i told you we're gonna go to the the heroes First off, let me ask you a question. Is there actual wheels involved in this? I have yet to see a wheel. Maybe uh, I've seen the wheels on the bus. Perhaps I've seen a wheel on a wagon, but I don't really know what the wheel of time or the wheel of anything is. Because I haven't read any of the 14 books and I know nothing about it. As you can tell, if you look at my critic reviews, I went through and, and checked out some of the critic reviews. I know nothing about this other than what my Wheel of Time expert will tell me when he's finished the first three episodes and what I give you in this, uh, my own personal review as someone who knows nothing. Other uh -huh. than Robert Jordan wrote these, not Robert Peterson or sure. Robert De Niro. You said a lot of words. Who wrote this? Robert Jordan. Robert Franklin. Mm -hmm. Benjamin Franklin's brother. So. He was extra racist. What if I told you that this all starts in a village? A gay village. No, a, a village of whammon. Oh my and God. And men, all but right. mostly whammon. And right. there's a whole part, and remember, these are spoilers, folks. There's a whole ceremony about dumping a woman into a river and tying her hair in a bow or some nonsense. Are they, is this like a sex thing? No, it's just a straight, normal dumping women into a river thing. Alive or dead? Alive. Okay. And then there's like a woman blacksmith thing going on. That's a thing. Why? There's some dudes and there's a ginger and the ginger uses a bow and arrow to do nothing. He like points it at things and he picks up rocks. I remember that. I'm trying to remember the whole thing. Um, and then they're in this village doing village things. Sounds exciting, right? Sounds extremely stupid. It is so far. Where is time or wheels involved in hmm. this? What if I told you that Rosamund Pike and a man with a katana were looking for someone or something. Rosamund Pike as in the ugly girl from Gone Girl. Did I forget to tell you that this is perhaps the ugliest cast I've ever seen in my entire life? I'm already out. I mean, okay, hold on, does it say characters? I need at least one hot person. Characters, there's this Moraine Damodred. She's a chick. Looks like a man. Mm hmm Then you've got Lan. Liz a man could be a he woman. He has a katana. Could be a woman. He's though. a man bun. Could be Lonnie. Rand. Rand Paul, the politician. L looks like a homosexual Ginger. Legolas. Oh my gosh. Eggwin Al Alvary. It's not a <laughs> very unfortunate looking. I don't know what that is. The looks innkeeper's like. daughter. Wise beyond her years. She should be kept in. Perrin. Wow, a hulking black man. He's kind of a dick. Bring masculinity to the show. Oh, this guy, Matt. He's kind Matt, of... he's a poor, he's and he's got a gambling addiction. He's okay. He's just a gambler. Not Nia Nave. Nia Nave, yeah. Barely not a thing. Does she show her boobs? No. In fact, it's, I think it's rated like, I don't know what it's rated, but it's not. There's no boobs. Wow. There is some violence, but no boobs. So so not an attractive cast. No nudity. And no nudity. No. No attractive well, people. Rosamund Pike is naked technically, but does not actually show anything. I don't need her to. She be naked. heats up the water. 
through her tuchus. I don't want her to heat up anything. She has a hot, steamy scene. No, thank you. With her tuchus. She's like 87 years old. Uh huh. That is just. She's barely passable and gone. That vagina is very dusty. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, how rude. She was barely passable in, in what? No Time to Die? No, not No Time to Die. What was the Bond movie she was in? No Time to Bond. Yeah. She was barely okay in that. She's barely in it. Barely convenient. Let, a, let alone 40 years later. <laughs> I, what movie, Bond so, movie was she in? She was in a Bond movie. You have it, Google Piers in Brosnan. front of you. She was in a Pierce Brosnan movie? Absolutely. 100%. I don't believe you. Just look Rosamund Pike, Bond girl. So anyway, what if I told you that in this village, there was a, I'm trying to think what else was, they like to drink and celebrate when women float down rivers. Okay. What if I told you that was a thing? Okay. So let's just say, apparently she is a Bond girl. She is. From Bond girl to Gone girl. What was she in? What fucking, but die another day. Di oh, the one with Madonna singing that yeah, song, yeah, yeah. Die Another uh -huh. Day. Super fascinating. Barely interesting. Yep. Wow. That was like 20 years ago. 10 years ago, at least. Yeah. Okay, so we've established that there's a village of people. Mm -hmm. There's a whole lot of characters, like oodles of characters. What if I told you that I already told you Rosamund Pike was looking for someone? Looking for a plastic surgeon to fix her face? Mm, perhaps. Perhaps. What if I told you by the end of watching this, I was like, can they please murder every villager that is here? I do not care or want to hear about anything else in this show about villagers. Uh, I would agree with you just from looking at the cast. Yeah, I was like, please murder all of these people. I don't want a single soul to survive. But you know what happened? Harry. They answered my prayers. Harry people. Harry people came. <laughs> they're literally dancing. The dumbest dance I've ever seen ever. Where they're like clapping hands and they're like, do 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 clap. Do 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 clap. And then the one guy's like, she's like, oh, Joseph, what's happened to you? And he has like a giant axe through his chest. The Minotaurs are doing this. There were Minotaurs. No one told me Minotaurs would be in this. You guys set me up, you little sneaks. How long do you have to wait for the Minotaurs? Like a solid 40 minutes. That's that's too long. <laughs> Can I skip through until the Minotaurs? Can you skip through until the Minotaurs Do attack? I lose anything if I skipped right to the Minotaurs? Not one thing. There's okay. not one thing about this. If you're like a super, super like fanboy of the show, you might catch like little details and hints of things. But as far as the plot's concerned, there is not a damn thing you miss until the Minotaurs attack. Not a thing. Unless you really like hot tubs that are not quite hot enough, but get hotter if you use the right spell. <laughs> uh, so what is the Minotaurs attack? Then all bets are off. These Minotaurs, they slaughter everybody. They just go wild. They wild it out. Do you see, like, is it like a true to life Minotaur or is it kind of like. They are hairy uh -huh. and they have horns and they balling. That's, that's and they not, eat people probably. That's not really what I'm looking for. Are they true representations of the male and female Minotaurs? No, they're. I think they're just male Minotaurs. Oh. So there's Strictly a lot of, males. there's some danglies. It's hard to tell because there's a lot of darkness and a lot of fur. And a lot of potential danglies. Would you say the minotaurs are a little rapey or are they just, they're murdery? They seem hungry more than anything else because so they start eating people, I think. They're cannibal tars. Well, I mean, they're not humans, so they're eating people and they're not human. So that would make them just eating people. Regular bulls. Y yes, they're like carnivorous Not boars. Cannibal. They're car carnivorous. Carnivorous. There we go. Yes, I think they're called the Trollocs. I could be wrong. Let's go to the villains here on the Wheel of Time. Uh, let's see. Villains. Not a lot. There's only two characters. Nope. 
<laughs> nope. There's just villains. There's a uh, there's a uh, shadowy guy, shadowy guy, and a minotaur, and a rapitar, <laughs> a rapitar. Uh, That's so, a pretty boss minotaur, though. Uh, so it's a little. It, I'm I'm torn because I'm gonna say this. The pilot looks. It's very slow, and the pilot does not look very good. So once the action gets going and the minotaurs are attacking, like there's a lot of CGI blood. And it's not super exciting. I mean, in the sense of like, there's a lot of CGI blood. I don't like CGI blood, but they do look like a mix between CGI and practical minotaurs. Like people were definitely dressed up as minotaurs. That's good. I like- But they were also CGI minotaurs. I like real minotaurs. But then, then Rosemund Pike starts like, dancing naked real no she's got clothes on but she like starts voguing and things start happening which are kind of cool but i'm gonna say the special effects aren't like really there yet that's why i'm saying it's like a pilot there's like this thing where she's like doing like some wind dance and she's got the dude with the samurai sword like chopping throats which is cool like there's a lot of violence it's super violent oh, it's kind of cool and then like the wind do the wind dance that she's doing starts like literally ripping the minotaurs into pieces like it's kind of cool like in like tearing their innards out like it's kind of neat oh my god yes it's very sexual and then she keeps doing her dancing she's doing her dancing and like she's like throwing rocks and stuff and like just basically destroying everything so it's 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 by the end, I was intrigued. The first, like, 20 minutes, or the like, first 40 minutes, I was like, this is terrible. And then I was like, all right, the CGI is not great, but at least they're smashing minotaurs. So basically, it's the next Game of Thrones, but instead of dragons, it's minotaurs. <laughs> it's it's not. And when I, I, I know people had took issue with my previous video when I was saying that it was Game of Thrones. Like, is this the new Game of Thrones? I don't mean like it's Game of Thrones. Like I don't, it's not, uh, they're different authors, they're different themes, they're different stories. I meant like appointment television where you stand next to the water coil cooler and you're like, yo bro, did you like those minotaurs? And you're like, yeah bro, I like some minotaurs bro. Did you catch when Fugly Girl was sitting in that hot tub, farting up storm, making it hot? You're like, yeah bro. I dug that. Gotta be more specific because everyone's ugly in the show. I mean, I meant Rosamund Pike, but she's very ugly. <laughs> she's she's at least she's white. Oh my god! No, because she has white privilege. Of and we need hot to take dogs? it away from her because white privilege is bad, everybody. Because fuck white people. We're not white. Where did that come from? I don't know. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Yeah. Are you like, do you have a problem? I do. Would you like to admit to something right now? I am a bigot? Tra no. I'm a, I'm a trans oceanic. Unison. I'm a trans unison dolphin that supports LGBTQ plus squared or Life. The, the love. Why don't you show people your tattoos? Of panda bears. I have a gay flag as my nipples. <laughs> Just saying. Wow. Yep. You. It's there. So by the end of this episode, I'm like kind of into this. I will say I did start catching the second episode, and I think that th it gets a little bit a little bit better. It gets shot a little bit better. Like it's filmed better, and the quality of the costumes are, is a little bit better and some of the things that happen are, are pretty cool and interesting it's kind of jarring going from the pilot to the to the second episode they should have reshot the pilot but i guess they were afraid of spending too much money because they're not sure if this is going to be a hit or not and for all the the people trashing it i'm like look i'm going to give it a chance because as one of our um somebody who commented in our uh, video of the uh, the critic one. Nobody liked Game of Thrones until Ned Stark got his head cut off. Spoilers. Like, nobody cared. It wasn't a hit. Nobody really gave a crap. They were like, okay, what's this like weird medieval show? Like, whatever. Nobody cared until Ned Stark died. So, give this show a chance. I'm gonna have my super secret special 
like source material reviewer give me some more super secret information which we'll reveal in another later date um but you've totally derailed this episode why don't you tell me what you're gonna do next since you took all this time and ruined this entire thing uh, this show is a bunch of ugly people about time i don't i don't know what what are we what are we doing next not watching this shit oh you're gonna watch it and you're uh, gonna review it nope Mm -hmm. There's not one. She's not even kind of attractive. I'm going to pass. No, you have to watch it. I it's an obligation. I don't, though. By your girlfriend. She says I, yes. She's going to make you I'd watch. rather watch a Love Heart again. I don't think so. Starring Nina Dobrev. No. Um, you're supposed to tell people what they're supposed to do, dummy. Oh, uh, you should like and subscribe to our uh, Instagram. If you like opposing bigotry. <laughs> yep. And you like opposing. Like we do. No, we hate well, it. I don't know what your problem we is. We hate it so hard. I think you've ordered some pizzas that are waiting for you. White supreme pizzas. Apparently. Extra vegetables. Apparently. It's good for the soul. Oh, I guess. Yep. I don't know what's wrong with you at this point. I don't know. What do you mean? I didn't. I didn't say anything wrong. Technically, if you're going by the words that came out of my mouth. Uh, I am. I'm disavowing you. No. Mm hmm. I'm not a part of MI6. Aren't you going to finish this? I think so. Oh, our Instagram is ORK underscore you. I guess that's cool if you would subscribe. I'd like that a lot. And uh, our YouTube, which you're listening to this on, you you should definitely subscribe because I'll be very sad if you don't. And I, who knows? Maybe I will dress as a minotaur and come to your house and stomp on your genitals until you do. And, you know. <laughs> until you do what? Subscribe. Okay. And you can denounce white bigotry. Oh my gosh. I don't. Is that a thing? Is white. No. Does it white bigotry mean you hate whites or you are for the whites? I don't I, either know. way, we love everybody. We're, because we're an all inclusive orc community. We root for the orcs. We do. Orcs are not a color, they are a people. And that's what we're about here. A and, people. Uh, if you want to go to brunch, email us at 12345.com. Uh, Shut up. Okay. As we go on to the next one. Oh, God.